Now, there's another medication that's been approved in the last 12 months, uh, solreamphetol, which is a dual norepinephrine uh, uh, dopaminergic reuptake inhibitor. Uh, Alon, do you have uh, experience with this new medication, and what's your feeling about that? I, I don't particularly have experience with it. I haven't prescribed it before, but it does have an, an interesting mechanism of action in that it uh, is a... Uh, noradrenergic and, and dopaminergic and without really increasing uh, um, amphetamine type tone. So it does target the uh, structures in the brain that are promoting wakefulness without many making the patient agitated. So in my mind, this is a, a unique ability to promote a level of alertness that you would see with the uh, psychostimulants, but without making the patient uh, agitated or uh, having those sympathomimetic uh, side mm -hmm. effects. I think the uh, studies were quite impressive with the uh, Russ in terms of the effectiveness of this agent. Yes, um, with both the self-report measures like the Epworth sleepiness scale that we talked about earlier, as well as another test called the maintenance of wakefulness test, which is sort of the flip side of the multiple sleep latency test where we ask patients to stay in a dimly lit room, boring situation, and we ask them to try to stay awake. And patients who are, are, are uh, pathologically sleepy have a great difficulty with that task, staying alert. Um, and so this, this drug did show uh, pretty um, impressive results on those tests. Um, again, this is, uh, I believe this drug is a Schedule IV drug, and so um, it, it's uh, not uh, like patolescent in the, in the sense of scheduling, um, but, but I think it is, um, you know, we've been using this term toolbox, or I might have started that this morning, but uh, I think it's, it's another good tool, um, you know, to, to consider. And uh, as we, we spoke earlier on, uh, you know, patients are often on, you know, they have to be managed uh, uh, with polypharmacy, and this, this would be one to think, think about. about. Now, is this drug available in children? It is not, um, but I, I've had some experience with it. I think one advantage of it is it's long-acting, just like patolisant, that's mm -hmm. always helpful. Um, and I think in the clinical trial, there's a slight increased heart rate and blood pressure, so it does yes. have to be followed. Right, yeah. So hopefully this will be another drug that will be studied in children and shown to be helpful.